A question I've been asked a lot about recently is should I wait for Volta, that is Nvidia's next generation architecture. Now the contents of this video will still be relevant when you have, you know, it's it's all the Volta cards sitting on this table and even AMD's next generation of cards sitting on the table too. So the point is, should you be waiting for the next generation of graphics cards or even stuff like CPUs, or should you just dive in and pick the card that you can afford now and then just kind of deal with new tech being released? So here's the thing, at the time of filming and likely when you see this video as well, Volta is still multiple months away. The uh, sort of uh, grapevine knowledge is that it will be announced around about June for general availability probably about July so you're really looking, especially if you're watching this when the video comes out, you're looking at many many months before those cards are available. Now sure, the newer cards are going to be better whether it's a you know 5% or 10% improvement or whether there's a pretty big performance gap we don't know yet but obviously they will be in some way better but obviously if you look at stuff like Nvidia's release schedule, if you you're looking to pick up something like a 1060, uh, like the Strix model for example, then you're probably going to have to wait until August, even you know September, October kind of time, as they generally only release the higher end cards, so like the 1080 and the 1070 first, and then wait for a couple more months and then release something like the 1060 and the 1050 and stuff like that. So you might have to wait even longer. And this rings even more true if you're waiting for something like a 1080 Ti. The Ti, especially for the, the sort of 1080, 11 whatever it's going to be called, they normally come out a good six plus months after the standard 1080 if not more, so you're going to be waiting a very long time if you want a card that will be better than a 1080 Ti in that sort of uh, price bracket kind of thing. Now of course you may find that the you know a new 1180 or whatever they end up calling it, 2080, um, is you know a sort of similar performance to the 1080 Ti, but the fact that you can pick up the card right now and the fact that you can get that performance now as opposed to waiting Number, uh, a number of months and then waiting for general availability, likely also waiting for the prices to drop after launch, you may as well just pick up the card now. This mindset of I should probably wait for the newest thing because my card will eventually be superseded by a better one is a little bit of a sort of almost fallacy mindset in, in that uh, the cards are almost always still a number of months away and even when they are announced and therefore your card is sort of depreciated uh, that doesn't mean that A your card is any less decent it also doesn't mean that you got a terrible deal because especially this uh, in this sort of uh, time gap where you have a couple of months before uh, any of the cards are even sort of announced, let alone actually released and available to the public, you actually have a pretty decent pricing uh, sort of space for the, the existing cards as they're definitely on the older side and so the, pr the prices over time do slowly come down and therefore you generally get the best deal around about now uh, for these sorts of cards. And of course if you're on the AMD side of things then you're likely going to be waiting for even longer than people waiting for Volta cards, especially just due to how recently the Vega cards were launched. Of course, if you can pick up a Vega card now for even close to uh, RRP or recommended retail price, then it's actually probably pretty worth it, especially if you are, you know, just planning on sort of 1080p, 4040p gaming. They are still very decent cards, especially the 56, and especially if you uh, flash the BIOS and that sort of thing. So it's a very awesome card, and I definitely recommend checking them out. But uh, again, if you're trying to, to wait for the next generation of, uh, you know, Vega cards or whatever, you're going to be waiting a long time and you may as well try and pick up one uh, you know, now and get the performance you want now and then just start saving for the next generation of cards and buy one in a year's time. Now of course that's my thoughts on this, I'd love to hear yours in the comments down below. Have you just picked up a graphics card? Are you planning on waiting for Volta or any other architecture? I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. Otherwise that is pretty much it. If you want to support the channel and help me make these videos on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday basis then check a look at the Patreon link in the description down below where you can support me directly. You can also support me slightly less directly but still massively help me out by using the Amazon or Overclockers UK affiliate links that are in the description down below as well. And of course if you're new to the channel feel free to hit that subscribe button too. Otherwise there are some other videos over here for you, I'm sure you already know, but otherwise uh, that is pretty much it. So thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it, found it useful and informative. Feel free to share it with anyone that you feel that is you know, waiting for Volta but probably shouldn't be. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all in the next video.